Walt Disney once said, I only hope we never lose sight of one thing. This was all started by a mouse. Over the years, new generations of Disney mice have followed in Mickey's famous footsteps. I think mice are sort of in the family. We've just done mice all our lives, and I suppose we sort of are in love with them. The Great Mouse Detective is based on the popular book Basil of Baker Street by Eve Titus and tells the tale of a super intelligent sleuth who, along with his friend and sidekick, Dr. Dawson, must match wits with the greatest criminal mind in the world, Professor Radigan. Some of the finest talents in Hollywood contributed their unique skills to the planning, development, design, and creation of this comic caper, which was more than four years in the making. The process of making a Disney animated film begins with the creation of the story and the development of its characters. Oh, I was so worried about my little kettle. When you discuss how these characters are going to relate, you're not talking about cartoons and, and funny ideas. These are real personalities. No, I love it when I'm nasty. With, with, with Radigan and the other characters, we developed what their history was, what it was like for them growing up as a kid. Why did he go bad? You know, why did Basil end up uh, this such an extremely intelligent guy, but a social misfit? Aha! But not for long, Miss Flamhammer. Flavish him. Whatever. Bringing believability to these animated actors is a task shared by the animators and the performers who provide the characters' voices. Ah. Ha! Here is our friend's entrance. But Basil, how could he fit through such a tiny... Observe, Doctor. Basil, you astound me. As I look at the little models that they made of Basil, I don't know whether I'm getting to look like the model or he's going to look like me. And we're all Disney creatures, aren't we? I mean, there isn't a soul in the world who hasn't grown up with this. That's, that's what I mean. To be part of that, that tradition, that creative tradition. There's nothing quite as memorable as a Disney villain. So, when casting the voice of the evil Radigan, the producers called on a veteran actor whose resume was more like a rogues gallery, Vincent Price. First Base Disney is a you know, a really magical name to me, and I had never been offered one of these parts, and I just wanted to do it. Thank you. Thank you. You're despicable. <laughs> yes. Oh, this is wicked. So delightfully wicked. Radigan is the ultimate villain. He has got a huge sense of humor about himself, but dead seriousness at the same time about crime. Uh, last night, and my first as supreme ruler of all Malston. Yeah! He's a great actor. He's playing the great villain. Besides being the great villain, he is playing the great villain and adoring it, which is all great villains should be like this. This is his thing, and mine too. He's a hero, isn't he? But a villain is always somebody that has to fool you all the time. He has many more facets to his character, many more sides to his humor. He has to be charming and witty and decadent and funny and, you know, everything going on at the same time. He's much more fun to play. Fidget, you delightful little maniac. <laughs> you suddenly begin to see the character, the animation, taking on your humanity, which, of course, is what they want, because the more human the mouse or the rat is, uh, the better it is for the picture. See what you can do with the proper motivation? <laughs> In a departure for Price, the actor not only delivered Radigan's dialogue, but also sang to, to music created by Academy Award winner Henry Mancini. <laughs> with time so short, I'll say so long and go so soon. Grammy Award-winning artist Melissa Manchester wrote and performed a song as a barroom mouse. I'm very attractive as a mouse. As I was singing and imitating her movements, 
I guess I infused some of my move, just my body language, because I see some of the attitudes, very kitschy and very, the, the shoulders were just jumping around. Of course, she shakes her fanny a little bit too, which I must have been doing. But, uh, but I wasn't in a little blue costume with feathers, I can tell you that. For composer Henry Mancini, animation was a new experience. It's the first uh, animated feature I've done. Of course, the Pink Panther was animation too. But it's, it's, it's different for some reason working with, you know, these little figures up there rather than people. One thing, it, everything goes so fast. I mean, the, the pacing and the story just zips right along. Through the years, Disney has been a constant innovator in animation technology, creating visuals never before seen on the screen. The Great Mouse Detective introduced another Disney first, blending computer-generated animation with hand-drawn characters. Once we've done the computer graphics on the screen, the computer, with a ballpoint pen and a mechanical hand, draws what was on the screen onto an animation piece of paper. And it'll come out with a drawing that looks like this, just basically the gears. And with a new piece of paper, I'll put on top of this, and I'll draw Basil running for his life on the gears. So it makes a nice hybrid between computer graphics and character animation. Combining traditional animation with new technology enabled the Disney artist to create an exciting climactic sequence, unlike any ever seen in an animated film. With the entire room and architecture and gears and beams and a clock face all in the computer's mind, we could then move through the set just like a live action camera could do or even more like a helicopter can do. So when the characters are running like this up the gear, the camera's panning and moving along with them in tremendous kind of shots that aren't normally possible in an animated picture. This is the kind of cinematography that we're used to seeing in a Spielberg movie. It's very exciting to kind of create this sort of footage because you feel like you're right there and that you're actually charging up these gears and missing big teeth by millimeters and stuff. And so it, um, for me as an animator and a filmmaker, it's very gratifying to create this kind of exciting footage. While The Great Mouse Detective is certainly an impressive display of animation technology, at its heart is a funny and engaging story loaded with lovable characters. So Mickey can take a well-deserved rest while his descendants carry on the great tradition of Disney's animated mice. Smile, everyone.